Elidibus. Oh, oh, damn. They're gonna hit us with this music? What the hell? Hello, everybody. My name is Axel, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. So we're gonna do the quest at World's End. And as you can see, my Paladin is already level 90. All my tanks are now level 90, my White Mage is level 90, my Dragoon is level 90, yeah... Yeah, we're, we're still gonna continue on as, uh, as a Paladin. Although we will be getting a bunch of wasted experience. But I guess it can't be helped. So what up, Radiant Host Soldier? Yes. So he has a message, okay. Well, are we invited? I have arranged for a feast to be held in your honor. Oh. Okay. So we can eat. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, so someone wants to meet with me, all right? In the Aetherite Plaza, okay. So... I'm gonna be late. Uh, for the feast, because someone wants to meet me at the Aetherite Plaza. Why though, and who is it? Maybe it's Nidana, I don't know. Hello! Who is it? Dangerous to permit the free movement of visitors at a time of emergency. Well, oh, I guess so. That's why I was late in attuning the Aetherite here. It's just a recent development that I was able to attune here. Oh, alright, alright, alright. Yes, 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 I already did that. Speak with the Radiant Host again, all the way over there. Hall of the Radiant Host. Alright. Ethernet Hall of the Radiant Host here. That's a really nice uh, quality of life improvement there, you know, the here. There. Really nice. Ah no. <laughs> The hell? I was just Ah, I did not think that it would be automatic. <laughs> so what up again? You stand up? Yes, of course. Something foreign, what? From where our leadership oversees all of, uh, oversee, okay. I thought it was overseas. But it's just oversee. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, 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 cool. Here? Is the door here? Alright. So who's waiting for me here? Oh, the Minson delegate? Oh, we have delegates from... Whoa, Doman... Limsa, Gridania, Ulda, Alami... No, Ishgard. Oh, there. Ishgardian delegate. Okay. So everyone's uh, represented here. Okay. Allow me to introduce you to... Hello. Where are you? Oh. Oh, so I guess this is our first meeting. I did, I do not know her. <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> All around good egg. Man, I have a lot of titles. 
<laughs> Let's be direct. I, I don't know her, so... The name's Shirabat, and I attend to business here, okay. Razatha welcomes delegates from other lands to oversee trade and diplomatic dealings. Alright. So are you the diplomatic attaché or something? Alright. Someone from Doma. Alamigo and Ulda. What up? Uh, Limsa Luminsa. And we have someone from Gridania over there. And Ishgard, yeah. They're the eyes, ears, and mouths at the bridge that bridge the distance between Raza. Oh! Maybe they're, I guess, some kind of ambassadors or something. We've used this brief respite, respite to share the details of our plight with our overseas counterparts. Oh. Okay. So we're bringing them up to speed as to what happened here. Yeah, so I guess this would be the first time the Eorzean Alliance will hear of the cause of the transformations. Thankfully, the information you conveyed to Lucia upon your return from the moon has already proved invaluable. As soon as reports of the calamity here in Thavner reached the Grand Company, our leaders knew at once that the final days were okay. But at the time being, uh, for the time being, the skies burn only over the bounty, including the island and Corvos. The bounty? All throughout Allied lands, there have been reports of people transforming, yeah. We saw that in uh, Alamigo and Ishgard. Uh, they have this, you know, the smoke and the transformation aura so it's happening everywhere from what little we've learned these incidents are similar in nature to that involving the yeah Kalsal yep so while the burning skies have yet to manifest beyond the bounty the transformations do not appear to be subject to any restriction oh not to give these creatures a name, don't you think? Blasphemies? Void scent? Which tend to be the biggest? Blasphemies. Yeah, alright. So in the first, we had the virtues. And here we have the blasphemies. Alright. Uh, what's the best of your abilities? Each nation has assembled their own groups of elite soldiers to put down these so-called blasphemies in their spawn, okay? Brave souls with the strength and fortitude to fell these terrible fiends are not easily found, yeah, I guess. What? I can't be anywhere all at once. And we have issues with Charlian too. Each blasphemy seems to possess wildly different characteristics. What works well against one may serve. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, she has blue and uh, green eyes. Cool. <laughs> You have gained access to the role quest for Endwalker. A separate quest line and story is now available for tank, melee DPS, physical range DPS, 
Magical range DPS. One, two, three, four? Oh, five! Oh, yeah, okay. So I don't have any range DPS. A physical range DPS, I don't have that. But I do have a melee DPS. Oh, so I guess I have to rush the dancer's level. Okay. That's gonna suck. Anyway. So we have role quests for tank. So I guess our tank, melee DPS, you know, um, the Dragoon's got that covered. We don't have a physical range DPS, I think. Yeah, we don't, except for Dancer, which is not even level 80 yet. And Red Mage, and Healer, uh, White Mage. I have a level 90 White Mage, so that's fine. So the only issue now would be the physical range and magical range DPS. So I have to get them to level 90. To undertake this quest, speak with any of the delegates in Sundrop and agree to help defeat the blasphemies that plague their respective homelands. So I guess it would be the same as the Cardinal Virtues in the first. You mean even if we finish all the MSQ, we can still do these uh, role quests. So I guess this one's for the tank. Yeah, we'll do that some other time. We'll do the MSQ first. Yep, we can warp there now, so we're fine. Alright. Okay, so we're off to mingle at the party. So, these people, so if we dress as a Dragoon, yep, yeah, we don't, I don't have any equipment for the Dragoon, <laughs> I gave it to my retainer, so, he's naked, and for the healer, we have the level 90 white mage, yeah, but our dancer, He's only level 77, and our red mage is only level 81, so... It sucks. Uh, eh, I guess we have time. So, let's continue on as a paladin, and head to... Speak with Mihilil. What? Where's that? All the way over there... Alright, in Mayhem. Cool. You can warp there, so... What kind of feast is this? Is this just for us? How about the other people here in Radzatan? They need food too, so... Hm. I was wondering... Okay. I heard all about Kalzal from your friend. I understand there was nothing that could be done, but... Yeah... Alright. A glass of your finest local spirits. Of course. We're gonna drink. <laughs> what up, Yushtola? Yeah. We have representatives from the Eorzean Alliance. Yep, the transformations are happening everywhere. So blasphemies now plague all the realm. Yep. It will only get worse if what Father said is true. As it did in Amarot. Amarot. If that's our model, then shouldn't we expect the effects to grow more severe as it feeds off its own spread? As if people transforming into those monstrosities wasn't bad enough. If the flora and fauna, if the land itself turned against us. No one would survive. Hello. Is that my uh, local spirit? Here's your order, friend.
Ooh. Looks nice. May you find comfort in these dark times. Oh, I have the same drink as Graha. Where do we go from here? If there's one thing we've learned, fighting blindly and simply reacting to what comes will accomplish nothing. Hey, uh, I miss Orianje. What the hell? We must find a solution that addresses the fundamental cause. Before our strength is exhausted, before this crisis spirals out of control. So we gotta kick Xenos' ass, right? Is there something? Anything we've overlooked? If there is an answer, Hydaelyn herself will have it. Twas she who bound Zodiac and forestalled the final days. But we can't talk to Hydaelyn. Alas, we have heard naught from her since the Tower of Babel. Whether she cannot or will not speak, I can only speculate. Even the flower she gave us is no more. Elpis, you would do well to remember the name. Are we gonna search for Elpis? So advised the Watcher. But what could be the significance of that name? It is entirely unfamiliar to me. Elpis, okay. To me as well. It meant something to the ancients, though. In our time. Most surely. Yet I do not recall a single mention of it in the records of Anida. Another dead end. And quite literally. It's not as if there are any ancients living we could go and ask. How about the Watcher? Oh. Not alive as such, but not quite dead. Oh, the people in Amarod, right? Elidibus. Oh, oh, damn. They're gonna hit us with this music? What the hell? Oh, man. <laughs> So what's up with Elidibus? I sealed him in the white horosite of the Crystal Tower back on the first. Okay. Contained within that reservoir of ether that maintains it. Ether that is returned little by little to the sea. Naught may remain of his soul. However, if part of it lingers, we might be able to speak with him there. Whoa! So we're going back to the first. Oh, hell yeah! I'm gonna speak with Elidibus. I know we can no longer make that journey. Yep, but I you, can. My friend, still can. Of course, I'm special. Yep, I wanna check up on Reen. Thank you, my friend. That would mean much to me. If nothing else, should we learn the first is safe, we'll have that much more reason to keep fighting the good fight. That said, the odds are not in our favor, to say the least. When has it ever been in our favor? Which is why we're fortunate to have Uriange up there on the moon, working hard to make all the necessary preparations for our departure, should it come to it. And why we have nothing to lose by staying the course till the last instant. Indeed, to the last let us all do what we can. I will consult with Master Matoya and see if she knows of a way to reach Hydaelyn from the Ethereal Sea. Ah, <laughs> oh, Master Matoya. And I will visit the nation's leaders and attempt to ascertain how far the final days have progressed elsewhere. Keep me abreast of your findings. I can seek out and slay the worst of the immediate threats, only to slow the spread. Unease, terror, despair. Try as we might to suppress them, these emotions will return to harry us time and time again. It's our nature. But when they do, remember this. Your friends and loved ones are out there somewhere, sharing in your struggle. You are not alone. <laughs> so ends the brief respite before the next revelation. Emmet Selk? Yes. 
so much left for you to see. Where beginning ends, and end begins. Ooh. All right. Ah. Speak with Tancred. Oh, hell yeah. So what happens to the experience here? No? Nothing? Alright. Oh, higher. Achievement unlocked. Okay, so it's just wasted experience. Is it? Uh, I think Astrologian? Yeah, I think it was just... It's wasted experience now. Oh well. What can we do? Return to the Crystarium, yeah! Okay, why? Empty now, of course, but it should allow you to operate the tower system. Oh, okay. Seek out Lena for assistance. Alright. Yeah, okay, outside, you know, game mechanics. Is it because of our link to Hydaelyn that we can still travel back and forth to the first? And here in the source? Why do we still have that ability? Huh. Speak with Lena. It's in Norvand. Yeah. Poor job. Cool. What up, Lena? Hey, it's been a while. Yes, of course. I am the brightest warrior of darkness you've ever seen. <laughs> We have no shortage of troubles, but we're well enough. <laughs> Didn't think... Oh, okay. What's the situation here in the first? Yes. <laughs> All is well here. Oh, okay, so... At the very least, it's still peaceful here in the first until things go to hell in the source. And I think, yeah, this will be destroyed too. Of course, we have... Okay. If I had to mention one dilemma, it would be the question of our governance. Even as we speak, debate rages on... Oh! The Settlement Council should continue to oversee the general running of the Crystarium. Oh, okay. So they have... Uh, political problems here in the first. Yeah, I need help. Have you? Some days ago, Reen came and asked the very same. Okay. So where's Reen? Oh yeah, we didn't see that. Yeah, they were... She and... Uh, Gaia were planning that festival. It was in the Eden Eden Raids, the story part of the Eden Raids. But I guess I didn't see that. Oh, so there's another celebration. Okay. 
Gonna help but feel worried in turn, especially since she wouldn't. Ooh. Yeah, I need to talk to her as well. So. Wait for me in the city in front of the cabinet of curiosity. Alright. I haven't been in the Crystarium in a while. Yeah, I've been to Yulmor to upgrade my equipment, but the Crystarium? No. <laughs> uh, something something curiosity, right? Yeah. Cabinet of Curiosity. Destination, alright. Following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Oh. So maybe we'll have a somewhat long cutscene here. Hopefully it's voiced. I miss Reen. Will Gaia make an appearance here, or no? Hello? Is that Reen? Oh! Hey! What up? It's Becklug! In case you haven't heard, we're planning to produce a tome chronicling events from the Flood. Alright. <laughs> Subject that is key to understanding much of your endeavors. Alright. <laughs> There's no end to the question I would ask you, but if you could indulge me, just okay. Who offered you the greatest struggle? Oh man, what, what do I... What, what the hell is this? Maybe this... I guess many players would choose this one. Or maybe we can tell them that I wasn't... Nobody made life difficult for me. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Vothry. Hmm... I don't think we can replay this part, so... Uh, holy hell. So which one gave us more trouble? Yeah, we'll go with Vothri. Because they know Vothri, they don't know who Hades is. Huh. Yeah, let's use this one. Yep. Yes. I know you'd love to talk his ear. <laughs> Alright. Our overzealous friend in particular remind him not to overexert himself. <laughs> overzealous friend. Was that Graha too? Hmm. So who else is coming here? Not hearing any footsteps. Oh! Hello! Oh! Oh, hello! Yeah, hello! Yeah, she's the one who wanted to be... Uh, wanted to help people. This one, Ricky Tio. Yeah! <laughs> she's still cute. <laughs> Come to see Morin to get his advice. Oh. 
What are you good at? Hmm. <laughs> She's so cute. What the hell? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we have a, we have a healer. We have a. No, oh, no, 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 no! Be a paladin. Be like me. Me. Hello. Brandon, the warrior of light. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you can be an adventurer like me. Ah, she's cute. <laughs> it's her design. You know, I think she has a bigger eye than normal for her small stature. And, you know, yeah, that's why she's as cute. She's cute as hell. Who's that? What? But he won't... Oh! Ah! Uh, Feo U, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Feo U! Yeah! This one! Yeah, of course! Hello! Should have cried for me at the top of your. <laughs> you will call with twice the passion next time. <laughs> of course. Join us, we are spying on you. It's as simple as sliding down the back of a rainbow. Oh. But we faith folk is bound to that of the star. Okay. The most I could do for you is spare you the pain by gifting you the sweetest of eternal dreams. <laughs> Ta -da, so is Rin here? I'm hearing footsteps. Hello and thank you for making it this far in the video. If you liked it, hit that like button and to be updated with future content, hit subscribe and the notification bell. Links to my social media are in the description down below, and if you fancy some more videos, you can check out this playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the continuation of this video series.